Hi there, Gary and I were just marking some mock exams and we thought we'd share with you some tips and advice that we have from our experience of marking mock exams and marking the real thing after you do them in summer. Gorilla physics! <laughs> <laughs> well, how about tips for revision itself then? Well, you're going to need to make sure you start early and I think that is the most important thing. And the earlier you start, the, the better you're going to do. And actually be disciplined about the way you approach your, your um, revision. Now for some of you that will mean maybe getting a calendar and highlighting the days that you're going to revise and what you're going to revise on those days and how much and then sticking to it. And others who maybe are more into the routine, then you can just think, well, well, when I start a bunch of resources, I'm going to make sure I finish those resources. And maybe I'm going to set myself, well, this week, I'm just going to make sure I finish my unit four physics, whatever. But be adaptable, though. Build in. If you get whatever plan you do, build in days off. Okay, and that allows you to relax as well. So don't plan anything for your Saturday. Uh, make sure that you still have your time to go and play your football or your tennis at, um, on those days. Don't think that you have to closet yourself off and do nothing else interesting to you during your revision time. And if you have those free days, well, of course, then if something else comes up or you realise you need to spend more time on a topic, then you can use that bit of time and you can be a bit more flexible. And when you think to yourself, no, do you know what? I've got this. Maybe that's the time to move straight on to something else. And you can adapt your plan and think, well, it didn't take me as long to do that as I thought. Reward yourself and ask your parents to reward you as well. Because actually, you will be working really hard during your revision period time. During your exams in GCSE and A-level, they can be some of the most stressful times of your life. There really is a lot of pressure. And we understand that, obviously, your parents and your teachers do. Um, so make sure that you're spending that bit of time. Reward yourself only has to be an extra game on the PlayStation that night if you've worked really hard or um, having a cup of tea <laughs> or watching a TV programme that you know you really like or ask your mum or dad to take you out to get you an ice cream. Um, exams are in summer and you can often be looking outside and thinking, gosh, I wish I, wish I was outside. Um, so go outside, take your revision guide outside and, and chill out. Don't, don't think that it has to be too, too stressful. Just work hard and... and try and do your best. Remember that revision has to be kind of active. I see a lot of people that think that when they're revising they just get their revision guide out and they read it and uh, actually I can tell that they're, they're bored and if you're bored then the revision is not going to be really good and I understand that you know you're not going to find every topic as interesting as, as every other topic but um, be active, do something, um, make notes is the simplest one, that's the, uh, just the key points. Don't sit and copy everything down. Draw little diagrams, little sketches. Um, make quizzes and test each other. Uh, revise with a pal. Make videos, make YouTube videos. This is a great way to revise because teaching something, you learn an awful lot as you do that. There are loads of things. Just do not ever sit there um, thinking you're about to fall asleep because it's that boring. Do past paper questions. That is a really important thing. Do past, whole past papers. And however long the past paper is supposed to take, an hour and 15 minutes, then do it in that time. Then get the mark scheme out and mark it all yourself. And allow yourself to kind of absorb the types of things that they say. Do past papers. Check that you're getting the grades that you want. And if you're not getting the grades that you want, then work harder and come to the teachers and say, I didn't get this question. I don't think I'm good enough to do this. Help me do this. And we will help you out, we promise. Um, make sure that you, you're not overworking yourself and that you're actually going to bed early enough. Don't, honestly, don't ever work past sort of 12 o'clock at night. There is no point. And even that, think earlier. I still, as a professional, I try to say to myself, no, I'm not, I don't need to work past nine o'clock. I can build time into my day. I, I rarely do that. I always have a bit of time to relax and get to bed nice and early. Then it comes to the exam period itself. And there's a lot of stress because you're going from one day to another having exams and exams and exams. And it's really important to allow the distractions that don't come in there. Do not allow distractions to come in there. Make sure that just before the exam that you're not in that cycle of doing the exam questions because you're not going to make that progress at that point. Just 
have your kind of key notes. Maybe one of the things you've done to keep yourself active is make flashcards. Well, that's the time just to be reviewing those flashcards, not improving them or doing a new set or writing out pages of notes. It's just to be looking over and focusing on remembering those key points. And then the night before the exam, well, that is crucial. Don't stay up too late. Um, and make sure you get a nice relaxing ev evening. Just have a little review of your notes. Maybe there's two or three areas that you know that you kind of forget and you always mess up those questions. Just look through and remind yourself how to do that. And then when it comes to the actual day, make sure you have a good breakfast or a good lunch if it's in the afternoon. Make sure you're relaxed. Have two or three things that you're actually looking at, but not everything at once. Don't panic. If you, if you see your friends all getting a bit nervous about the exam, maybe just take yourself away. Uh, and stay calm. If you see some of your friends have finished and they may be having an exam that morning and they're all chilling out, then you're in a different zone to them. So just, just say, we'll see you in this afternoon, I'll chill out with you this afternoon and that, that'll be fine. Make sure that you're not stressed by being there in plenty of time, you know where your exam is and you're ready to go. So some really key points then, make sure that you stay nice and calm, make sure that you work hard and you're well prepared in advance, make sure that you don't just copy out the textbook or stare at the pages, do something active, make sure that you've got no distractions, turn your phone off and leave it to one side, make sure that you are taking plenty of breaks and rewarding yourself and make sure that you are asking for help if you need it. Thank you for watching Gorilla Physics. Please do like, share and subscribe. That really helps me be more useful to more people. Also, please go ahead and check out Gorilla Chemistry and Gorilla Biology. You can expect the same sorts of things, past paper questions and videos to help you understand topics. Thanks once again for watching.